There has long been a debate about whether Neanderthals, also known as Neanderthals, were able to start their own fires. It's long been accepted that Neanderthals could, in fact, control fires. And by controlling fire, what I mean is the ability to control fire would involve being able to find a natural source of a fire, such as a wildfire, and transport it to a cave or something like that, where the Neanderthals could use the fire to cook things, to create things, to keep warm. But the question is, were Neanderthals actually able to start their own fires? Because it's believed that Early species of humans, like Homo erectus, might have been able to control fires early on, but the ability to actually start fires without having to rely on a natural source of a fire would have been a later development. Now, I personally have long suspected that, yes, Neanderthals were able to, in fact, start their own fires and did not have to simply rely on natural sources of fire. And a new study coming from the University of Connecticut does seem to confirm my suspicions. The study examined polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, which are chemicals that are released when organic material is burned. And it looked at a cave complex in Armenia where Neanderthals were known to have lived. There are two types of polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, light PAHs and heavy PAHs. Light PAHs disperse widely, but heavy PAHs have a tendency to stay close to where the fire initially started. The study looked at sediment samples from a cave complex in the Armenian highlands that Neanderthals were known to have occupied. What they found was Increased evidence of human occupation at the cave site, which included things like concentration of animal bones from meals and evidence of tool making, did correlate with evidence of increased fire frequency and the increase of frequency of heavy PAHs, indicating that the Neanderthals were in fact starting their own fires. In this case, when they're talking about human activity, they're talking about Neanderthals, because Neanderthals actually were a species of humans. They also ruled out the possibility that the Neanderthals were using fires that had been started by things like lightning strikes. If the Neanderthals were relying on wildfires, they would have to be living in conditions where lightning strikes fairly frequently in order to frequently be able to use fire started by lightning. It would be theoretically possible to find heavy PAHs in situations where lightning had started fires frequently in the cave complex. But the researchers actually ruled out the possibility that it was unsettled weather which led to lightning which caused these fires to start. They actually found, by pairing the climate data with evidence found in the archaeological record, that the cave's inhabitants were not living in the drier, wildfire-prone conditions while they were utilizing fires within the caves. In fact, they actually found that there were fewer wildfires for these ancient humans to harvest at a time when fire frequency and heavy PAH frequency was also high in the cave indicating that the Neanderthals did indeed start their own fires. This study adds to the growing body of evidence that Neanderthals did indeed start their own fires. I have long suspected that Neanderthals could in fact start their own fires, but just say 10 years ago, there were a lot of people that didn't think they could, but there has been more and more evidence that they did. For example, in, in 2016, there was a study that was published that concluded that Neanderthals used magnesium dioxide powder, which they harvested from limestone, to help them start fires. A 2018 study concluded that Neanderthals actually created the first cave paintings before 
we actually did. Now, that study wasn't on fires, but it does suggest that Neanderthals were capable of abstract thinking, meaning that it's more likely that they were able to start fires, since usually starting fires would require a higher level of abstract thinking. There was a movie that came out in 1981 called Quest for Fire. The movie takes place in Europe about 80,000 years ago, and it depicts a tribe of presumably Neanderthals that are able to control fire but are not able to start fires. In fact, that's basically the whole premise of this movie is the tribe has a fire that ends up getting extinguished and then they have to go and try to get fire from another tribe. But although this movie might be a pretty entertaining story, the thing is, it was made in 1981, back when we knew a lot less about Neanderthals than we do now, and it was actually based on a novel that was written over 100 years ago, back in 1911. In 1911, we certainly knew a lot less about Neanderthals than we do now. And while I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with watching a movie like Quest for Fire, there is a certain danger to watching a movie like that, which is basically just a work of fiction, and thinking that that is actually something that would have happened back 80,000 years ago because it's very unlikely that Neanderthals would not have been able to start their own fires. Thanks very much to my Patreon producer, Lena, a.k.a. Lollipop, and my Patreon associate producer, Jammy Joy. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon for notifications, and select all notifications. It really helps me out when you select all notifications. You can also catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Zorkbid123.